Velocity as a function of time is presented by the graph. Find the acceleration. We remember that the acceleration of an object is given by the form of delta v over delta t. And if we now look at the graph here of velocity versus time, we would see that the slope of this graph is also given by the form delta v over delta t, showing that the slope of this velocity versus time graph is indeed the acceleration. So our slope is equal to a, which is equal to delta v over delta t. We now pick two arbitrary points along this line, this being our initial position, and this one being our final point. We now write down the values at each of those. So our initial velocity is 20 meters per second at a time of t equals 2 seconds. Our final velocity is equal to 10 meters per second and at the time of t equals 6 seconds. So now if we now solve for a, we would find that a is equal to 10 meters per second minus 20 meters per second divided by 6 seconds minus 2 seconds giving us negative 10 meters per second over 4 seconds which would give us an acceleration of negative 2.5 meters per second squared.